They're going to be playing regular season football games here inside Larry Wilcox Stadium in Atchison, Kansas. But for today, the Benedictine College Ravens football fans were treated to the team's annual spring game. The black team taking on the white team on a very blustery afternoon at Benedictine College. Early on, the white team got things moving. Quarterback Jackson Dooley is back this season. He finds Dalton Witherspoon out of the backfield. He makes some defenders miss with some nice moves for a first down. That would later lead to Dooley taking it in himself from a yard out, and the white team had an early 7-0 lead. Ravens head coach and former Northwest Missouri State quarterback Joel Osborne congratulating his offense's early effort. But this was a day dominated by defense. In the second quarter, Benjamin Sylvain gets the sack on Caden Austin for the black team. Later in the drive, the snap goes way over punter Harry Balky's head, and it bounces back into the end zone. Balky boots it out of bounds for a safety to cut into the white team's lead 10-2 at that point. The Benedictine band showed up in full force today. They were out having some fun. In the second half, more defense. On fourth and goal, Carter Schultz throws an interception right to Trey Rucker on the white team for the touchback. Then in the fourth quarter, with the black team driving, they turn it over again. Mar Hill alum Mark Harris is picked off by Joel Thomas, and he has a great return, taking the ball just beyond midfield for the white team. Great field position that later led to this. Sam Torline plunging it in for the touchdown in short yardage, and the white team extended the lead to 20-2 at that point. Later, Schultz would try to go to the end zone, but the ball gets deflected and it's picked off by Thomas Wilbanks. Another red zone turnover forced by the white team. The white team would end up winning 20 to four, concluding a successful spring camp for Joel Osborne's Ravens team. I'm just really looking forward to uh, coaching our team again in the fall. And we got really a lot to build off of. We return 18 starters and uh, you know, the guys are fired up and they're working really hard. We've developed a lot of depth on our team and our, our coaching staff's done a remarkable job of uh, keeping our guys here. You know, in the, the, the day and age of college football, we've had a lot of guys choose to stay here, which I'm really excited about. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's going to be a really fun fall. It's not as much the spring game, you know, it's the whole spring put together. It gets tough, the defense, they, you know, they watch us practice all week, they kind of know our stuff, but it's always good to get out there, get the band, get a little fan atmosphere. Benedictine College looking to build off of last season's 8-3 and three record. The Ravens open the season August 31st on the road against Morningside in Sioux City, Iowa. Then a week later on September 7th, right here, they will have their home opener against William Penn. It's going to be here before you know it. But for now, reporting from Atchison, Kansas, Brett Kennedy, K-12.